It is a beautiful sunny. Well, it's a now it's a sunny day. It was yes. cloudy before, but now it's a sunny day. You're about to make your wonderful YouTube family some dinner, so we don't have oh, much to yeah. complain about, right? right? And I'm back, back, back. I know you guys were used to Mark in the in the kitchen for the last couple of videos, but I am back for a little bit until Mark does the next one. Okay, so guys, without further ado, we're just gonna get straight into it, Daddy. Tell the people them where we are cooked today. Why me I cook barbecue ribs, you know? Barbecue ribs. Barbecue ribs is officially on the menu, guys. You guys have been asking for a minute now. Oh, Daddy, can you do ribs? Daddy, can you do ribs? Daddy, can you do ribs? Well, look, ya, Ribs reach. All right, Daddy, so let's just get straight into it. So where are we starting? So first of all, where is this from? Like, how do they buy it? This is from Costco. It's from Costco, okay, and I guess you just get it in that same slab. I guess this is a side. My mom is whispering in the background, saying that it's side, a side rib. Side ribs. Side ribs, yeah, so mama. not back ribs. What's the difference between back ribs and side ribs, Daddy? That's a back rib. Oh my gosh. It's a side rib. I can't. <laughs> Side ribs are more shorter. Yes, but then he like, isn't it's there nice. like a tenderness difference yeah. or? No, not really. One has but more meat, one, one has. More meat than the side ribs right here. And that's what I was always shocked about. Whenever you go to a restaurant and you're like, oh, like, they're like, oh no, get the side ribs. Apparently they're more meaty or whatever. I always thought that the back ribs would be more meaty, but I guess the side ones are. Yes. All right, so let's just get into it. I didn't say my chat too much. Go on through I'm going to cut off some of these fat. Okay. You don't want on here. Volume up, Daddy. I'm gonna cut out some of this part. Okay. And there is right here. You don't want them. Okay. 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 See, I not Don't cut out too much because you want when the when the ribs is cooking, they have some fat in it. Okay. To so keep fat it is a good thing, but just yeah. not excessive. Fat. Yeah, yeah, not too much. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Okay, all right. Back up your ribs, it's, it's all fine, nice. So the side is good. good. Okay, and these are pork ribs, correct? Yeah. Yes. Not beef ribs, guys, pork ribs. You can buy your beef ribs if you want. And it's like ribs. the same concept? Yes. Okay. But the beef ribs are more thicker. Okay. Skimming all that That's extra fat off, y'all. See, more meat is on the beef ribs. So basically, if you can pinch it and pull it, pull it off. Yeah. Right? Because mm. I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're... Mm. Um, no, anything knife, that's like my, hanging, you... Yeah, can... you can pull it off. But my knife is sharp. Oh, okay. So you can get it off easier. So sharpen your knives, guys. Because if you have a dull knife, this is not going to be as easy looking. No. Right. See, some people pull this is like a piece of skin off. Okay. Right there. Uh -huh. But I'm going to leave it because the way I'm going to cook it, I need it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so we're leaving that layer of skin off. Right here. There's a lot of fat right here. Let me get some off. Okay. See? See how thick that is? Mm -hmm. That's all fat? Yeah, that's all fat. You don't need that. Okay. It's all fat right there. You take a little out. This is good. I'm gonna wash my ribs. Okay. I'm gonna put it in a pot. I have a pot of water going. I'm gonna boil my ribs. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna season it. Okay. 
Okay, all right. So, so let's I'm get gonna, to I'm gonna wash my rinse first. Okay, let's do that. I wash my rinse in vinegar. Okay. So vinegar and water. You guys already know what it is in Daddy's kitchen. You gotta wash your meat. Get if through that meat. Yeah, well. If you don't have vinegar, use lime or lemon. Okay. Or you can use all of that if you want. Yeah. Make sure your sink is clean while you're washing your meat. Okay, so you can't wash it in a dirty sink when you're meat. No. <laughs> <laughs> you wash your meat in clean sink. Clean sink only. Only. Rub a dub dub in this tub. All of mercy. <laughs> Alright, so we have to follow you over. Okay, I have a pot of water going here. Okay, so this is a pot of boiling water. Yes. All right. So it's on high, rice. obviously, right? Yes, yes. Is there anything inside the water, Daddy? Not yet. I'm going to season it. Okay. So I'm going to cook my ribs for 45 to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour in the water, okay? Bare water. Yes, okay. with seasoning. All, all of these, my seasoning, I'm going to put in the water right now. Salt, seasoning salt. All purpose seasoning, black pepper, garlic powder, pimento seeds, and bay leaf. Okay, so all of these are going in the water right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm gonna season it. Interesting. Bay leaves just gone in. Yeah, I put about five bay leaves in it. Okay. Make it six. Okay. Pimento seed. Quite a amount, maybe uh, 12, 12, 15. Okay. Garlic powder, black pepper. I didn't know these went inside the pot, you know, before. Yeah, man. <laughs> Interesting. You have to take your notice, girl. Come on. Hmm. You know that notice when it's time to eat. <laughs> You hear that, people? I don't know when they were eating or they're interested. <laughs> All purpose seasoning. Hey, a, spoon, a, a spoonful each of our seasoning, okay? A Jamaican spoonful. A Jamaican spoonful, man. Season In other salt. words, whatever you feel fit for you. Yeah, to whatever, what kind of seasoning you like to put in it. It's all good. Okay? Oh, it's making my nose tickle. Making your nose tickle? Mm hmm. This smell is good already. I put salt in it. A tablespoon of salt. Just a tablespoon. Mmm, you smell it? A Jamaican one. You smell it? <laughs> of course I smell it. Oh of my course you smell it upon all the seasoning. Then I have cover my pot. So you cover it, but you don't, but you leave a little peat. Yes, and the, you don't want it boiled over. Okay? Why do you do that? Oh, because you don't want it to boil over. Sorry, me, 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 it's like me not listening. It's like me not even not listening. So I can't learn. Peter, give me a trouble, but. Just. Excuse me, people just watch it. Just watch it and yeah. leave a peep in it. Yeah. Um, so that it doesn't boil over. Okay. All right, what's and next? These. I'm gonna use these to make my bar my barbecue sauce mm -hmm. for the ribs. Okay. I have soy sauce. I have some barbecue sauce here. I bought. I have chipotle sauce. I have some beer. I have apple cider apple vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. I have ketchup. I have some chicken broth. I'm gonna use for my liquid instead of water. I have some sugar here. This is organic sugar. Okay. I have some onions here that I grated, some ginger, and some garlic. Okay. This will make my sauce. Okay, so Later. this is what the sauce is yeah. going to be. You guys, get your things ready. Get your things ready. And the seasoning rub. Wow. For the ribs. There's levels to this, huh? Now, what am I want to say. Okay. So, for the rub. Flavor rice. Flavor. 
ginger powder. Ginger powder. Cool runnings. Cool runnings meat seasoning. Caribbean cool again, spices. Caribbean spice. Smoked chip. Smoked chip. 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 Uh, paprika. paprika. Yes. Garlic powder, black pepper, seasoning salt, and purple seasoning. Okay. So I'm gonna combine all of these and make a rub. Okay. To put on my ribs when it's finished. Oh, so that's what's gonna go on the ribs first. After it's half cooked. After it's half cooked. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's let's. And then I put it in the oven. Okay. Let it cook for at least twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes. Then I take it out and I put my sauce. That I'm gonna make. All right. Well, we're here with I you, Daddy. We're here with you. So take your time. Take oh, your time. mercy! <laughs> See that, people? Start to boil up. Have to take the cover off. Okay. Okay. And let it cook. Smells amazing. Awesome. It's a seasoning. This one. No, the seasoning, Daddy. Yeah, man. No, smell nice. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make the rub. Okay. For my ribs. So. I'm a spoonful each of everything I have here. A spoonful each, a tablespoonful each. To make a spoonful, right? That was the all purpose. Seasoning salt. That was the seasoning salt. Next is the black pepper. Next is the garlic powder. Next is the paprika. Thanks, Daddy. Look at you. Good with a camera. No on the angles and things. Yeah. Caribbean spices and herbs from Cool Runnings. Big up Cool Runnings. Big up Cool Runnings. In the house. In the house. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Daddy, I think you're on your fifth one for this episode. <laughs> yeah, man. You have, you, have on, you have to call up on your father all the time. All the time. He's the one who's protecting us and guide us. He's the one who... Wake us up this morning. You yeah. think you could wake up by yourself this morning? <laughs> you better think about it. Oh, yeah, you're right, you know. You're right, you're right. Everybody, take a moment and think about it. All right, and last but not least, flavor. So, Daddy, you put us. You you put a tablespoon mm -hmm. of ginger, ginger powder, powder also. Yes. I feel like you always hold off on ginger powder. Yes, sometimes like it depends only... on what you're making. Okay, but this time you can get the full yes. tablespoon. Ginger, we give you barbecue. Ginger and garlic is the key. Okay. You want to taste that flavor. Okay. And then you mix up your seasoning then because this All is going to be your rub, right? Yes, this is going to be my rub. And you know what I'm going to put in it? Oil. Oh, sugar. Two spoonful of sugar. Wow, that was off. You can, you can put brown sugar, whatever sugar you have. But we're using organic. I'm using organic. That's why it's like that. That's why it's, it's like that little beige color. Yeah. Brown sugar. Really dark brown sugar is good. Okay. Okay. I thought and you were going to put like virgin olive oil in there or something. You wouldn't go in it. If I put virgin olive oil, it's gonna be a wet rub. This is a dry rub. Okay. My bad. You feel me? I feel you, I feel you. Right. So I let this sit here until my ribs are done. Okay, I'm gonna make my barbecue sauce. Okay. I'm using some olive oil. Olive oil in yes. the pot, extra virgin? Yeah, that's a spoonful. Okay. That's a spoonful, you guys. See that right there? <laughs> a spoonful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just leave you alone now. You get better? <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Next. Not a spoonful. Okay, okay, about? fair. Okay, fair. Okay. 
Alright, you have to prove it. You have to prove it. And I put in my onions, my ginger, and my garlic. Okay. What's the heat at on the stove? High. High? Oh yeah, but it's a smaller fire. But it's on high. Okay. So I get out some of this lemon. So why are you doing that? To get out all the flavor. Remember, I have ginger, I have garlic, and I have onion. Onion. So sweat it off. Get out some of that onion inside. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some liquid to it. Okay. Apple cider vinegar. You always put this in? No. Something a little new. Yes. Yeah. Just have a tangy taste to it. Yes. So when it's tangy and the sugar and your beer goes to the air, it gives you a nice flavor. Okay. So I'm get about four spoons full spoon spoon full. Four spoonfuls. Yeah. Okay. Inside the vinegar. We all know what apple cider vinegar tastes like. So and that is table, nice. tablespoon. Okay? Okay. Tablespoons, four tablespoons. And my sugar. Only for sugar. It's about at least seven tablespoons of sugar. Not the whole thing, but most of it. Yeah. Okay. Then. And my soy sauce. This smells amazing. It is done. Tablespoon and a half. Tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. See what happened here? Soy sauce make it become dark. Mm -hmm. My beer. Here we're gonna get this flavor off. And you can use any kind of beer you want. So. Half of the bottle? Yes. Honestly, if you could smell it right now, oh my gosh. You'd probably just drink the water. Mm -hmm. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Let's see what barbecue sauce you're using. You're using this guy's barbecue sauce. Guy. Oh yeah, guy, that's his name. Your, your friend. You know who is this? Yeah, the guy from the cooking channel. <laughs> your brethren. I put about four tablespoons. Four tablespoons, you say? Yeah. Okay. This barbecue sauce is actually really good. Yeah. Chipotle barbecue sauce. Chipotle. This is a lot of flavor. Chipotle. It smells good. Oh yeah, it smells really good. The same? What? Four tablespoons. Tablespoon. Okay. And people remember, when you're hoping your sauce and you don't finish it, Go straight into the fridge. Okay. Not back into the cupboard. No. Back into the fridge. Once it's open. Alright, ketchup. Yeah, let's see the Jamaicans there. Hold of mercy. <laughs> and their ketchup. This is good. This is the bad boy. We're gonna put at least six tablespoons in it. Okay. Alright. And then I put some chicken broth. Chicken broth. I have a half, half box, so I'm just putting everything. Okay, so just half a box. Yeah, that's all in there. So if I need more, I can add a little water to it. Okay. And then 
If I have to thicken it, I use a little cornstarch. Okay. But the ketchup that's in here now and the other sauce, I don't think I would really, really, really need it. But this sauce has to become thick. Okay. And how does it come become thick? You just keep stirring it? When it boils up, you're gonna all the stuff that I put in it come thick. If it's not thick enough, I'm gonna put some cornstarch in it. Or you can have some get some flour and make a roux. Okay. And add it. And add to it. It'll become thick. Mix it in and then I'm gonna taste it. So now I'm gonna taste it. Okay. See what I need. <laughs> you never. <laughs> okay, so it's that good, baby. People, if you want to taste this, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, I can't wait to taste it. Yes, you make it taste it. Oh my gosh. God, your wisdom is great. All right, guys, I'm going to do the tasting right now. Yeah, the sweet tangy taste. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is flavor. Wow. <laughs> mm -mm. Mommy, where are you? Come over here. Wow. You can taste this. It's actually delicious. Wow. <laughs> are you guys hearing mommy in the head pull up? I'm gonna have a brother here. I'm bringing it to her to taste. <laughs> People, let me tell you, God is good. This recipe just come from my head. From my head. I work with the spirit. Mm -hmm. The spirit. Yeah, man. See, when you work with the spirit, you can't feel. True. Very true because I tasted this. I'm very, very, very big on barbecue. I think that's what you guys need to know. I don't think you guys know that about me. I love barbecue food. I love barbecue sauce. This sauce. I turn it down to medium right now. Let it cook slow. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. If you guys follow the instructions and the ingredients, whoa. You're again. about to be blown away. Show them again. Half bottle Corona, some ketchup, apple cider vinegar, chipotle barbecue, regular barbecue, and sh uh, sugar. We use organic sugar this time. Um, and then inside was the uh, garlic, garlic, ginger, ginger onion, onions, mince. mince. Okay, 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 okay. Jeez, daddy, jeez, jeez. <laughs> I can't deal with this. I can't. Oh, you guys know where I get my weirdness from, uh huh? <laughs> okay, my sauce is boiling. It's not thick enough, so I'm gonna put some cornstarch in it. Okay. For thickening it. Okay. I have a full spoonful of cornstarch here. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna put cold water. Not hot water, cold water. Okay. And mix it. Then I pour it in and mix at the same time. Pour and mix at the same time. And 
your sauce, whatever you're making, and you got to thicken it. You start at the same time. And you become thick. So you literally just pour, mix it first, yes. pour it in there, yeah. and then just stir, yeah. stir, stir. Start, yeah. Getting to draw already. Yes. So that's usually when it's when it's ready, right? So, so let this boil a little. The more it boil, the more it get thick. And you want it nice and thick on the ribs, right? Yes, yes. No run. No you put run. Put your ribs. So much as stick to the ribs. Okay. No running. My ribs is done. Okay. So I'm gonna throw the water off. Okay. Careful. Careful now. Careful. parchment paper on a tray. Put that. Our ribs are cooking for a hour. One hour. One hour you cook yeah. it for. Yeah. Okay. So I put it on the back of the back. So I want to season the belly first. Okay. And then I turn it over. So you're seasoning the belly of this first. Yes. What if it come from the side? How could there be a belly? Huh? I said if it comes from the side, how could it be a belly? Belly of the ribs. Belly of the ribs. So now I'm going to season it. With that My dry rub. rub. Stay there. I'm gonna rub it in, but it's kind of hot right now, so gotta let it cool off. So be careful, guys. Don't go rubbing it right away because you don't want to burn, burn up your yourself. Hands. You don't want to burn up yourself. You can't blame Daddy's kitchen for it. Okay. You rub it in lightly. You want the season to stick to the meat, stick to the ribs, okay? Then you turn it over. And the same thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Careful, Daddy. Yeah. Now, the back of the rib. Repeat the same steps. Yeah. Juicy. Yeah, man. Mm. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 15 minutes, just to let this seasoning soak in it. And then I take it out and I put my sauce on it. Okay. 
Really? So people don't marinate theirs overnight, Daddy. Yeah, you could. But you decided you wanted to do it this way. Yeah. Pressing that bad boy in, it looks like. Go anywhere again, Daddy, or university. You can't run away anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay. And my oven is 450. 450, it's yeah. been on. Okay. The reason why I put 450 is because I have something else in the oven. I have potatoes. Roasted my potatoes here. Ooh, that's what we're having on our side. Daddy makes the best potatoes. Put it down in the comments if you want Daddy to show you guys how he does his his roasted potatoes. Oven roasted potatoes, that is. Let us know because lots of people have been wanting to learn. And we haven't done one yet. I think it's time, Daddy. Yes. I think it's time. I'm going to cook this very far. Well, 45 minutes. Okay, all right. So, but it's not going in for 45 minutes right no, now. It's only going in for I'm 15. I'm gonna take it out in 15 minutes and I cook it for another half an hour. Okay, but that's okay. when the sauce is on it, right? Yeah, yes. Ooh, I can't wait for that part. All right. So, them just come out 15 minutes in. That's all that it was. No, I'm going to put my sauce on it. Ooh. See, the sauce, no running. No running. It's thick. That's what we like. But I'm going to do something. You're going to do something? What's that something? It's taking too much time. Oh, okay, okay. 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 the angles for the people them. Um, you know what I should do before? I should turn it over first and do the belly. And do the belly? So do that with this one then. Yeah. You can show good. them how you would prefer to do it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, guys, if you could smell this. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh. There is nothing like barbecue. BBQ. Okay, so you think it's better to start on the I'm inside? Yeah. Start on the inside, out. Okay. so much so that you guys were showing Mark how he's supposed to do it in the comments for the last couple videos. You guys are hilarious. I love you guys so much. If anything was confirmed, it was the intro in, the, in those comments. Now I know we can't ever steer left or right. Look how good these looks, guys. Look how good this looks. My thing is, I love ribs that are like ooey, gooey, lots of barbecue sauce on them. You ever have barbecue ribs and they're like just so dry? I know some people like the dry kind, but I'm definitely a saucy rib kind of gal. What about you, Daddy? Yeah, man, you must juicy. Juicy and saucy, not true. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Ooh. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven for at least just 10 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out again and give it another coat. A double coat? Yeah, man. My, 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 my. Yeah. Lots mm. of love. Alright. All right. That's all I have to give. Is love. For another how long, Betty? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Ooh. Let's check those potatoes. You're right, Daddy. Let's check. Them. Let's check on these potatoes. Ooh. Potato, potato, don't matter. It's going in my belly. Oil. You guys want to learn how to make this? Let us know. Daddy's famous for these. Lots of people love them. Yeah, man. He can show you how. Okay. One more coat. Second round. Hmm. I might swap that the one right there, so. Right there, so. <laughs> <laughs> not me saying slow. The whole slab is mine. <laughs> yes, daddy. Yes. You think you know what I do? I love barbecue sauce. You have to make it ooey and gooey. You think me not know what me I do? Like when my whole hand mess up. Is that a good piece? Oh, are you going to taste that piece? I mean, I could totally yeah, have you. Oh my gosh. Ooh, you want to get this and tell me what it is. Okay. Put your foot in it this time. Everything. Mm -mm. How come your piece so big? Because <laughs> I'm your boss. <laughs> mm -mm. I said, you said, I want to go. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. Lord of mercy. Mm -mm. <laughs> All I try to eat the bone. Yum. Oh my gosh. Five more minutes in the oven. Okay. One more time, guys. One more time. And the last time. Put it in the top. Still need more time, eh? Mm-hmm. Okay. But the ribs look like the ribs almost ready. Come on. Ready like a Freddy. Ready 
need to share okay. out their plate, that is? Yes. All right, come with you go share out their plate. All right. Special plate to them. Yeah, man.